Hey guys, Aramis555 here. Uh, sorry this, if this is bad quality, it's uh, obviously YouTube, so I'm just filming off of them. Um, anyways, just doing a quick little update for you guys on uh, how the YCS is going. Um, basically, this is one of the most diverse YCSs I've seen in a long time. Uh, Cordero or Vexicus 4666666. If you guys uh, obviously know him, very, very good YouTuber, go check him out. Uh, he's part of Alter Reality Games, and he did post up the top 16 for YCS Rhode Island. So I'm just going to read down the list, tell you guys my thoughts, and uh, we'll go from there. So we have one Lancer Frogs. That's very cool to see frogs of any type, or just monarchs in general, uh, topping again. That's very, very cool. Um, we have basically four agents. There's one Chaos Agent and three just apparently normal agents. Uh, that's awesome. I'm very, very excited to see that. Uh, Agents is one of the most underrated decks in the game, I think, uh, especially this format. I mean, they really only, uh, like, they, they got back to second Earth, but you think about it compared to the format when they were top tier, there's only one Earth extra that they're missing. Now, that might add a little bit of consistency, but at the same time, it gives them space for other cards that they might want to run. So, Agents are doing really, really well. That's awesome. Um, I'm actually going to say they might win this YCS, uh, or it's going to be some random deck, because there's a lot of random decks in this list. Um, only one wind-up. Yes. Sadly, I was wrong, but at the same time, thank goodness I was wrong. Um, I didn't want wind-ups to win again. Uh, I think it is one of the best decks in the format, but I guess everyone's just siding for it now. So uh, We have one It says Dragons, but I'm assuming that's Chaos Dragons. Uh, sadly, that's only one. Um, but once again, I guess people are siding for it. So uh, we have three Gyrgia variants. So that could include just pure Gyrgia. That could include uh, Karkuri Gyrgia. That could be Machina Gyrgia, whatever. Um, there's three different Gyrgia decks in the top 16. So I think we all kind of saw that come in. Uh, one Great Keeper in the top 16. Very, very cool. Uh, I guess this player is realizing that Royal Tribute is still an extremely powerful card. And uh, obviously, it's been putting in work for him for the tournament. So, uh, Great Keepers are doing really, really well. Uh, also, Necro Valley is a very powerful card. It's got a good matchup against Agents. It's got a good matchup against uh, Zombies, Frogs, whatever stuff like that. Um, which there is a Zombie deck I'll get to. Uh, one Grave, or sorry, uh, one Gladiator Beasts. Uh, as we all just saw recently, Jake Matronly uh, topped. And won a regional with his Gladiator Beasts. He's been playing the deck for a very long time. I actually used to talk to him on a regular basis about the deck. Um, very, very cool guy. Go check out his channel. Uh, Gladiator Beasts are in the top 16. So obviously that deck is not as dead as people thought it was. It's still very, very good. It's just obviously going to take a little bit of skill to play. Uh, I've always thought it's a very skillful deck. Skillful, sorry, skillful deck anyways. Um, one Dino Rabbit. It's Rabbit. Uh, one Dino Agents. So I guess that means... Agents but with Rescue Rabbit put in it, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then we have uh, another Agent deck with Gwyba. So I guess basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six Agent decks in the top 16. Um, that's just under half, but that's still a really good ratio for the chance that some kind of Agent variant is going to win. Um, but yeah, Agents with Gwyba, uh, so I guess it's just basically pure Agents, and then he's just running three Gwyba for the fact that obviously he can, you know, get a free Loggy on the field. A Loggy with the Hyperion is kind of busted, so. Um, and then last but not least, Chaos Zombies. So an entire zombie deck just got top 16. The deck that we all thought was too slow to play this format is obviously not as slow as we figured. Um, very, very cool. Uh, so that's your top 16 for YCS Rhode Island. Very, 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 very interesting. Very diverse. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what deck do you guys think is going to win YCS Rhode Island. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and you guys all have a fantastic day. I will keep you updated with the top uh, 8, 4, and 2 when they post up. I uh, may be at work during that time, though, so I'll have to run in the back and do a quick video. Hopefully my boss won't mind. But uh, anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace.